In this final tutorial we're going to look at the assembly. So assembly is just a tab along on the bottom. You've got your parts that you create on the left hand tab and the right hand tab is where you start assembling everything and allowing them to move and seeing how they function with one another. So if we move across to that now, when you insert, this is where naming all of your parts will become really really handy. So if we go to insert, all of your parts will appear in this list. We're going to build it from the base up. So to insert something onto your workspace, just click it move your cursor across to the workspace and click again to place it in there. You can place more than one of a part if you need more than one of them so you don't have to create lots and lots of the same thing in the part studio. You can do that in here as well. Um, the other part that we're going to put in to start with is the base attachment so we're going to place that in as well and they're just the two for this moment. Okay, The base I want that not to move so I don't want to be able to click that and move it around the screen at all. I want it to stay still. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to fix and that will mean that I can no longer move it around the screen which is exactly what I want. The next thing I need to insert this attachment into that hole. So I'm going to use a revolve mate or a revolute mate. That means that it's going to sit into that hole and be able to spin around. It's really important that all of these features along the top you experiment with because each one does a different thing and it will allow different movements. Some will allow no movement whatsoever. So what we're going to do is that point of this object will fit exactly with the point inside that hole. So be really careful not to select the one on the top or in the center. It's got to be the correct one and click and you'll see it will insert straight into that point. But you have got to take special care on selecting the exact points that you want to be touching and that you want to um, assemble with. I'm happy with that now so I'm going to finish clicking by clicking the green tick. You can now see that that will spin around. What you can then do Go back into the Revolute, click Edit. We can add some limits. So instead of spinning a 360, we can allow it just to move from side to side. So we're just going to go 45 degrees each way. Then if I click Play, you can see the limits that I've set there. Okay, I'll just preview that green tick to finish. And you can check it again by clicking on it and dragging it with your mouse to see the movements. Okay, that one's in. So now the next part's to go in. I'm going to add the lower stand and I'm going to add the base attachment bolt and a base attachment nut as well. Click the green tick and then we're going to put a revolute mate on the first one and then we're going to use a fastened mate on the second two because you only need one to be able to move. So the revolute mate, I'm going to line this hole up here again paying close consideration to which bits being selected, it's the outside and then I'm going to zoom right into this part and select that bit, the bit that it will be touching. And that's that part done. So now, just to check that that's working as I expected it to, we can move that up and down. Perfect. And you can see it's working at the same time as the revolve at the bottom. Now to put the bolts in. These don't need to revolve because we've already told that it can move. These can just be fixed in on the sides. So we're going to go fastened mate and we're going to select the outside of this hole and that's going to fasten to the outside of that and you see I'm picking the center of it there and that would have shot into position perfect next one then so that one's fastened in I need a new fastened mate the outside of this hole didn't click it sorry outside of this one to the outside of this one and it shoots into place there tick spot on. Next then we're going to put the two outer bars at the top and the bolt going through there. So insert the two outer bars. So I've got upper stand one, upper stand two and then I want the middle nut and the middle bolt as well. So I'm just popping all of those in there clicking tick. What we're going to do we need two revolute mates and we also need to apply a few more limits onto this one as well so it's going to be a little bit trickier so revolute mate this part with this part okay and we'll click tick i then want another revolute mate with this part making sure i'm getting the inside not the outside 
click that again sorry there we go so we've got that this time rotate round and we know it's on the outside of this hole so that's shooting into place there and then we're going to fix the bolt in with our fastened mate so our fastened mate we want the center of that part and then we want the center of that part and that's in the correct position there hopefully poking through the other side perfect we want another fastened mate now the outside of this bit with the outside of that part there and that's a tick okay I'll leave this tutorial at that point for now and we'll move on to assembling the top features in the next tutorial good luck